there YouTube Lisa 455 here. It's been a while since I make a video, so I got a video for you guys today. I'm gonna show you this cool little program I found called Team Viewer. Um I don't even know where you can download this from. I just found it on lucid.co.nr websites. His website, blah. So if you just type in team viewer viewer I cannot type. Three, you know, boom. It is a really great tool. Um, it's not perfect, but it's good. So basically, what you do is uh, you can use other PCs from this PC. So uh, right now, at my home network, I have three or four PCs configured working together as one or whatever. But let's say I have a Vista machine downstairs, and my sister has a Vista machine, and I have an XP machine. Well, let's say I want to go on the Vista machine, but you know I don't want to go downstairs. Okay. Close that real quick. You use this program called Team Viewer, and um, you need to have two session IDs. It'll tell you that. Just install programs on the computers you want to use it on. It's a three megabyte program. You're not even gonna feel it. You know, hard space-wise. Come over, open it up. It'll last you for the session. This is yours. And on the other one, it'll be like that too. Copy it. Copy the password. Whatever and hit connect to partner just type in the password this one happens to be you know whatever that's the password and boom you're logged on this is my vista machine right here you can see it right now I don't know if this is going to show up well graphics wise it's not the best at all but it works like this is the vista machine basically what I'm doing right now is downstairs in the basement like view it's not remove the wallpaper like you can see graphics wise it's not the best this is a picture of me in an amusement park in Virginia somewhere and this is on my downstairs computer look start this is the Vista machine I'll, I'll show you right now computer properties that's just where the screenshot was uh, it's Vista it's an HP machine you know, 1 mega RAM fucking basic gigahertz time too special about this computer but you gotta check that out um, you gotta have everything turned up on the other computer like for instance if I want to use Firefox you know you got like if you go to you know stupid website like Google it, you know, it works relatively quick you might notice a bit to a lag and it's not like you do this and they can't see it downstairs no they see what you're doing right now so if somebody's going downstairs they'll basically see the computer on itself working visiting websites and stuff and it's actually me up here um, really great feature. I think it'll work better if you have it set up the other way where computers with higher, what do I want to call it, higher specs, uh, like, will work better. Like, for instance, if I have, if I go on my Vista machine, which has a gig of RAM, compared to this one, which has half, half a gig, and I run it, vice versa, I think it'll work a little better. So, definitely try this out team viewer three when you register it though make sure you register it for personal nonprofit use because if you register it commercial profit they will charge you I believe so and you know you could transfer files between computers like this is my computer this is their computer and I actually have a couple of like you know you were into the dot this is everything that's downstairs this is actually great because I did not discover this I have a couple of downloads uh turns just kidding Couple of ISOs, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I can just transfer this. Oh, this is gonna be great. I could just complete. Let me go back. Let me go up one. Um, back. How do I go back? Right here. I could just receive. Um, look, I'm, I'm gonna receive this to C. Ah, uh, the desktop. Now I'm gonna receive that to the desktop. What? The desktop. I don't think it's really that hard. Something is wrong here. I'm just an idiot. Let me go up. Okay. Okay. Send. No. no. What? All right. Probably because it's on this machine, that's why. But this looks, oh, yeah, 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 that's why. I have to do this downstairs. But look, let's say I want to send a file from my documents. Uh, 
let's see, give me something in my pictures. One of my photoshopped images. So I want to send, you know, web node banner. You send this, make it go up. They'll receive it on the desktop if you want to really. Boom, hit send. And look, this is now on their computer, which is great. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go on my downstairs computer real quick and try sending stuff from there to this computer. So I'll be back in a bit, guys. But with the power of Windows Movie Maker, I guess, you guys will see it as a sec. Thanks for watching part one.